I'd like to direct your attention to the easel behind me. Uh, the first painting is a Claude Monet. Right? It's a very beautiful painting. It is beautiful, and uh, it is listed at Christie's for $700,000. Uh, the second painting is a Degas, it, uh, another world-renowned artist, and this painting sold for $500,000. The third painting, you may recognize this name, is a Hunter Biden. <laughs> I, I, Biden don't, I don't recognize the painting. Certainly got a lot of laughs, and it was one of the most memorable moments there on the floor. Uh, your thoughts on that? Did you feel like you effectively communicated what you wanted to get from A.G. Garland? Well, what I want to get is a special counsel investigating Hunter Biden's activities. I didn't get that from Attorney General Garland. Um, what uh, he did was uh, sort of uh, the, the Texas two-step or maybe the D.C. two-step, the swamp two-step. Where, where he started talking about, um, I can't uh, comment on an ongoing investigation. Uh, I didn't ask about an ongoing investigation. I asked about appointing a special counsel. We all know that uh, Robert Mueller was a special counsel, and we know that Durham is a special counsel. There's nothing uh, secret about appointing a special counsel. And at that point, uh, he said he didn't have enough information or he just received the information. Uh, this isn't the first time Hunter Biden has been engaged in these activities. He knew about this before he came to the hearing. If he wanted to answer my question honestly, he would talk about the fact that uh, Hunter Biden was involved in uh, receiving $50,000 a month from the Ukraine uh, oligarch when he had no background in, in energy policy or having a relationship with the China uh, National Bank, uh, having no uh, background in, in uh, uh, investments in China uh, or really even in, in finance. And so here's, here's somebody that's receiving this money because of his father's uh, position in government. It's wrong and it should be investigated. Uh, two questions for you. One, do you see Democrats concerned about uh, Hunter Biden, the, the president's son, and his paintings and business deals done with that off camera? Obviously, we've seen what happens there. And then number two, in the committee hearings that we've seen on the left, you see January 6th brought up many, many times. Your thoughts on that, and is that the priority? Well, uh, to answer your first question, I think that the Democrats are, are very concerned about Hunter Biden, but for all the wrong reasons. I don't think they're concerned about Hunter Biden because of ethics or corruption. I think they're concerned about Hunter Biden because they have their names on the ballot in another year, and they're going to have to explain to the voters why they didn't do something about Hunter Biden. Uh, this administration can't get much worse news than it's had already in Afghanistan on the border with inflation and, and so many other areas. Crime is rising. Uh, and, and so I think that Hunter Biden is just another part of the story that, that they want to avoid. Um, and I, I, on January 6th, uh, obviously, they want to try to pivot to something that isn't the bad news coming out of the Biden administration. Um, I uh, am in favor of investigating why we are, uh, as a country, um, uh, running to different sides of the political spectrum and why there was violence in the summer of 2020 and why January 6th happened. But I think isolating January 6th is unfair um, in terms of not looking at political violence across the political spectrum. All right, Congressman Ken Buck joining us live here today. Congressman, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate that. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.